Hi friends, it's Miss Sherry from Christ Church Children's Ministry. I am so thankful that you all are here with me today. And we are going to continue our stories about Jesus. Can you see Jesus written on my shirt? My shirt says it's all about Jesus. And that is exactly what we've been learning in our Bible stories lately. We're learning all about Jesus and his ministry. Now, if you were with us last week, you learned about the 10 men. Can you all put up 10 fingers? 10 men who were healed. They had skin disease. Um, and so they were in the part of town where they couldn't see anyone. They can't be with their families. There were so many rules about um, if you had the skin condition. And so they heard Jesus was coming into town and they came to Jesus because they had faith. What does that mean, faith? That means they believed with all their heart that if they came to Jesus, that he would help them, that he would heal them and clear up their skin. And well, Jesus healed all 10 men. And only one of those men came back to give thanks to Jesus. He fell at his feet and worshiped and praised Jesus for healing them. Only one out of 10. So that means nine of them didn't come back. And they say in the Bible that only one was saved. Saved. What does that mean? They were all healed and able to go back and be in the community and be with their families, but only one was saved. And that means because of his faith, because of his belief in Jesus, and that he worshiped and praised him and gave thanks to him, that he would then live forever in heaven with God. And that is because of his faith, his belief in Jesus and how he gave thanks and worshiped him. And so today we are going to continue with another story about Jesus and his ministry. And today I thought, what could I put in my special Bible? But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to change it up. I'm going to ask you a question instead. Now raise your hand if you ever broke something. Do you ever break anything like a favorite toy, whether it be on accident or on purpose? Have you ever broke something? And then you take it and you have a special person in your life, a mom or a dad or a grandparent or a special friend that seems to be able to fix anything. I definitely, my dad, I call him Superman because he is able to either make or fix anything for me. And if I know I could bring it to him, chances are he'll be able to fix it. Maybe not all the time, but a majority of the time I can count on him to fix whatever I break. Well, today there were two ladies in our story. There is um, a lady who just is going through a lot of health problems, both of them. The ladies, one is a lady and one is a girl, and they have health problems. And one of these ladies, she's been to doctors. And well, none of the doctors can help her. And we're gonna find out what happens when people, when in these stories, when people came to Jesus because something was broken in their lives or they were hurting and they needed Jesus's help. So I want you to pay really close attention to the story today and see what happens in the story and then we're gonna talk about it afterwards. So let's check out today's story. As you listen to the Bible story, Keep in mind our big picture question and answer. Why did God create people? God created people to worship him, love him, and show him glory. Let's say that all together. 
Why did God create people? God created people to worship him, love him, and show him glory. God didn't need to create people, but he wanted to. He had a plan for the people in today's story, and he has a plan for us too. Hi friends, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Jessie, what are you wearing? It's my new robe. Do you like it? My mom got it for me to wear when I get done swimming. Oh, nice. Feel it. It is so soft. Okay. Oh, Jesse, it is very soft. You know what? Touching your robe reminds me of today's Bible story. It does? How? A woman reached out and touched Jesus' clothes in our Bible story. Oh, did she think his clothes looked soft? No, she was sick and she believed if she just touched Jesus' clothes, his power would heal her. Listen to the story to find out if she was right. One day, Jesus was teaching people by the sea. A large crowd gathered around him. Suddenly, a man named Jairus, who was a ruler in the synagogue, fell at Jesus' feet. Jairus begged Jesus to help him. My daughter is very sick, Jairus said. Please come touch her so she will be healed and live. Jesus went with Jairus and the crowd followed. A woman in the crowd needed Jesus' help too. She had been bleeding for many years, but no doctors could help her. The woman believed Jesus could heal her, so she reached out and touched his clothes. All of a sudden, the woman's bleeding stopped. She was healed. Jesus turned around. Who touched my clothes? He asked. The woman came forward and fell before Jesus. She told him what had happened. Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. You are healed. While Jesus was talking to the woman, some men came from Jairus' house. Your daughter has died, they said. Leave Jesus alone. Jesus heard this news and told Jairus, Do not be afraid. Just believe. Jesus went to Jairus' house. People there were crying loudly. Why are you crying? Jesus asked. The child is not dead. She is sleeping. The people laughed at Jesus because they thought he was wrong. Jesus took Jairus and his wife into the room where the child was. He held the girl's hand and said, Little girl, get up. The girl got up and began walking around. Jairus and his wife were amazed. Jesus told them to give the girl some food and to not tell anyone what had happened. Jesus showed his power as the Messiah. Jesus can heal and give dead people life. Jesus died on the cross and rose again to save people from sin and death. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sins and changes us to be more like his son. Now that we watched our Bible story, let's go over our memory verse. Let me read it to you. It comes from the book of Isaiah. Surely he took up our pain. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Isaiah 53, verse 4 to 5. Let's all stand up so we can learn our Bible memory verse motions together. Are you all ready to learn our Bible memory verse motions? Are you standing? I hope you are. Okay, so we're going to go really slow the first time. So it says, surely he. So we're going to point up to Jesus in heaven. Surely he took up, and we're going to keep pointing up, took up our pain. 
So we're gonna put our hand on our forehead. Oh, we're in pain. Surely he took up our pain, the punishment. So we're gonna put a fist to our hand, the punishment that brought us, so we're gonna to point to us, brought us peace was on him. So we're gonna point back up to Jesus and by his wounds, so we're gonna make a mark where his wounds were when he was on the cross for all of us. And by his wounds, we, so we're gonna to point to ourselves again, we are healed. So we're gonna put our hands up as we are worship and glorifying God for we are healed. And then we're gonna open our Bibles and say Isaiah 53, verse four to five. Are you ready? Let's do it a couple times together. Surely he took up our pain, the punishment that brought us peace was, oh, peace, <laughs> was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Isaiah 53, verse 4 and 5. Let's do it again because Miss Sherry forgot peace in that one. Surely he took up our pain, the punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed isaiah 53 verse 4 and 5 one last time so you all can practice it this week surely he took up our pain, the punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Isaiah 53, verse 4 and 5. Why don't you treat your family this week and practice it all together? What a story. Jesus really showed us how we need to have faith, right? We need to have faith. We have to believe. How about the story about the woman who believed that Jesus could help her? I mean, she had gone to doctors. Have gone to a doctor? Raise your hand. Oh, gone to a doctor? She'd gone to the doctors and, well, nobody could help her. She was actually getting worse. She had no one to turn to. And she heard Jesus was coming into town and she just had to touch his clothes. She believed just by being near him and just touching something that was on him would heal her. Now, the minute, do you think it was his robe do you think it was his robe that was special that healed her? No. No, Jesus said it was her faith. Because she believed, she was healed. Because she believed in him, it was at the moment that she touched the cloth of his robe that she was healed. It had nothing to do with the fabric. I'm sure it was nice, but it was nothing to do with the fabric. It was the fact that she believed in Jesus. She had faith. Can you say that? Faith. Faith means she believed with all of, all of herself. She believed it more than with her heart and her head. She believed everything that was inside of her, that Jesus could heal her. And it was just at the moment that she touched his robe that she was healed. And Jesus could feel it. She didn't touch him. She could, he could feel the power go out of him to heal her. 
and by her faith, she was healed. I can't imagine her feeling. Could you imagine it? She would have, she fell at his feet and worshiped and glorified him. Now, right before that happened, Jairus had come to see Jesus because his daughter was so sick that she was going to pass away. And so he had come, you know, he was very urgent. He needed Jesus to come to his house right then. Have you ever needed somebody to come just right now? Hurry up, hurry up, right? This was Jairus. And the crowds that followed Jesus, just think tons and tons of people were following Jesus because they have heard about how he was healing people. So people were coming from all over. And I can just imagine Jairus was like, come on, Jesus, you need to help my daughter because he loved her so. And he needed her. Jesus to come quick, but Jesus stopped and he was talking to the woman. And now people came to say, your daughter has passed away. No need to bother Jesus anymore. She's gone. And Jesus heard them talking and said, no, it is not too late. And so he went to the house and he healed Jairus's daughter. I can't even imagine what that would have been like. But what is so amazing is that Jesus, he didn't even need to go with Jairus to heal his daughter. But he went to show his power. He went to go show that God's power was with him, that he was the son of God, the Messiah. Can you say that? The Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah, which means the Son of God. And just by taking her hand, she was alive. I can't imagine the rejoicing, the joy, how they glorified Jesus in that moment and how they worshiped him. Just like I can't imagine the other woman, how these people would have glorified God for the rest of their lives because of what Jesus had done for them. Now, Jesus didn't need to go, just like he didn't need to touch the woman to heal her. He didn't need to be there. He could have just said to Jairus, go home, she's alive. But he went to show them that this is what he could do, that he has come to be the Messiah, so they could see how great he was, and that he was the son of God. I can't imagine what that was like. But Jesus calls us to have the same faith as that woman did. The same faith, belief, because we can't see him, because he's not here with us on earth, he asks us, to believe in him. And when we do, he saves us. Just like that one man, he healed. Jesus healed the 10 from the skin condition, but he, one was saved because of their beliefs. Jesus asks us to believe like they did, like the woman believed in him. And when we do, we are saved. We are saved and we get to live with him and God forever in heaven. So friends, will you all pray with me today? Will you close your, your hands and bow your heads in prayer with me? Heavenly and gracious Father, thank you for the stories we learned today about the lady who had faith and about Jairus who had belief in Jesus and how Jesus showed his power. Show your power to us and help us to see you in our lives at work. Jesus, thank you for coming to save all of us. Help us to believe in you and spread the good news to others, we pray. And all God's children said, amen.
Well, thank you for being with me today, friends. And I can't wait to see you next time where we learn more about Jesus. Don't forget, our worship songs are coming up next. I hope you have an amazing week where you can feel the love of God surround you and pass it on and tell someone else. Love you all.